Hi, welcome to SBR TV. I'm Peter Loshak. We've got Doc the Headlinesman at Legends to uh, recap the past week's betting action with us. And it was a very interesting week. Manny Pacquiao won as a big favorite over 39-year-old Shane Mosley. The Kentucky Derby had a field that was more wide open than any in recent memory. And Dallas swept the Lakers, amazingly four-zip, right after Doc last week told us that a four-and-out series was the best scenario for him and the books. So we'll find out how all that went down for Doc and the books right now. Thanks, Doc, for being here again. Always a pleasure, Peter. Thank you. All right, so Dallas swept them 4 nothing, and it was against the Lakers, probably one of the biggest public teams uh, around. Was that just like the best NBA series that you've ever had? Uh, recent memory, it was pretty good, yeah. Yeah? <laughs> getting... I, wish it would have been, I wish it could have been seven now, but <laughs> seven in a row. I mean, it was, that was nice. So game, game three especially, that yeah. was the one that people – after game three, a lot of people were a little punch drunk in game four. Still mm -hmm. needed Dallas pretty good, but – they backed off a little. Game three was just, it was just one-way highway, so really? that was really nice. And then how about the uh, the first three Boston-Miami games? The home team is one and covered in each game. Has that been good for you, bad for you? Uh, actually, game two was good for us. Game one, they chance that's a zigzag theory again. Yeah. They kind of, you know, game one needed Boston, you know, didn't do too well. Game two needed Miami, worked out well. And then they got back home to Boston. I kind of needed Miami, but it wasn't a big deal. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's been real close, those three games. And then what about Memphis OKC? Before that series, uh, you know, I asked you, I mean, Memphis looked so undervalued in the first uh, series. I asked right. if there were any Sharps who were betting them, and then bet, would they be betting them blindly again in the uh, second series? And uh, they've covered two out of three against OKC. One of them was overtime, of course, but uh, now they're only two-point favorites tonight. Are you getting any notable action on that? Yeah, I got, like I said, I got more money in Oklahoma City just because it's mm -hmm. a theory. They're down two to one. They're the favorite. They were the favorite to start the series, and that, that's what happens. People just yeah. bet that. You know, it's just, it's just human nature. Even though Justin series price Memphis is 150 or so, I, I would just take a guess. I assume that's what it is. But so you know, it's a, yeah. I'm gonna need uh, I'm gonna need uh, Memphis tonight, which is fine with me. You know. Yeah, it seems like that might be a good side to play here. It's such a small favorite. Um, and then, uh, what about the uh, the Pacquiao fight? Did you get a lot of did you did you get a lot of people who bet like you know? Huge I got a lot. You favorites? know what? I get a lot of little stuff. You know, spreads like that, people don't go crazy on. Mm -hmm. I mean, I had a couple of guys lay like eight and a quarter for like big money, like you know, big, yeah. whatever, forty to win eight, a you know, big deal. But uh, you know, every little guy, I don't know, all, all the little. 25s, 50s, and 100s, of course, were all on the dog. So it, it, it was an okay fight for us. We yeah. did okay on it. <laughs> and then did you take much action on the on the derby? Oh, loads. I mean, it was, I, I was up at uh, well, 4.30 Pacific, 7.30 East, and first thing I did was put my bet ticker on and get warmed up. <laughs> first thing I saw was a horse bet, not a sports bet. I mean, and they come in all day long. Really? The $2 betters, the $2,000 betters. I mean, we write so much action on that race. It did the greatest thing. I mean, I, I we, we did good on it, but I mean uh, a lot and a lot of people had Nero in the sixteen nineteen box. Nobody really had Animal Kingdom to win, mm -hmm. but they had the exactor. We paid the exact out a few times. That was about it. You know who did have Animal Kingdom to win? The uh, the SBR TV video promote promotional video. <laughs> oh, nice! Yeah. Very good. Animal yeah, Kingdom. Yeah, I tell you, I, I thought five horses could win the race. I told my friend twelve, thirteen, fifteen, sixteen, or nineteen, and they ended up yeah. running one, two, three. But, I, I, of course, I lost the race. I ended up betting the 19. <laughs> <laughs> You're a bit of a, of a horse expert yourself, aren't you? You've been doing it for years, right? I, since I was 14 years old, the longest <laughs> stretch I missed was two weeks when I got married. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So, so yeah. So, Animal Kingdom, there were, there were all these in the SBR, as I said, in the SBR TV promotional video, uh, they picked him and, and Pants on Fire as the two best bets. The big knock was, though, that he had never run on dirt before. Uh, how much does, does that matter to you? Are you surprised that, it, that a horse had never run on dirt well, was able to win the Derby? Yeah, it, it matters. It matters like it, it really matters like in a maiden race, six for you know, blah blah blah, all these little races. But you, you, you get to a mile and a quarter, a lot of it isn't surface. It's stamina and you know, and what kind of what kind of legs they got under. He's, he's run some. He's run some longer races. He, he's a, he likes turf and yeah. you know that race ran at Turfway uh, uh, that he won. You know the horse. Horse around second, I actually thought ran pretty good, decisive moment, but he just didn't look like a mile and a quarter horse, and obviously the winner did. Mm -hmm. It's just one of those things. Who can? Who's going to be finishing? And, right. You know, like I said, I I didn't like dialed in one bit. I right. think I think his best game is almost going to turn out to be a late runner to mile, one mm -hmm. turn mile, maybe like the Met Mile. I, I, I don't I don't like him as a two turn route horse. I know it sounds silly after the Florida Derby, but 
he just ain't my cup of tea, but we'll yeah. see. He might turn out to be better than I think, but I don't think he's much right now. So are you saying that, that betting on the Kentucky Derby, are, are you noticing that it's increasing as the years go on? Because horse racing is sort of like thought of something as like it's going out of fashion that's on the decline, but the big races, it seems, still I, get as much attention as ever. You're absolutely right. It really is dying a little, especially in California. Of course, that's a C- CHRB would take us two hours to get into if I wanted to. But, <laughs> yeah, racing kind of is going south. But a race like this, I mean, they, they set attendance records, handle. I mean, I, I was looking at exchanges, uh, mm-hmm. Betfair and Betmaker exchanges. Mm-hmm. Holy mackerel. The amount of money that Betfair had on the win in that race, I mean, it is stunning. And and, and the track did real, I mean, the track had a ton of money, too. So, I mean, it's that race was alive and well and kicking, yeah. that's for sure. I mean, people just love that race. And so then how much action do you expect uh, for the Preakness? About half as much as the Derby, or how much uh, do you expect? I would le- less, probably less than half, less yeah. Than half. It's, it's, it's just, uh, you know what, though? If he wins the Preakness and the Belmont, yeah, right, you know, right. have people coming in, which is nice, too. But, you know, if he wins both races, then, then you're looking at somebody betting on a three to five shot or two to five shot in the Belmont, like happened with Smarty Jones. Stuff. Sure. So it just depends. Sure. All right. Well, thanks once again, Doc, for all this great info. Anytime. Thanks.